and here I am on my boat staying home in accordance with the government guidelines. Now I heard on the radio the other day that people in small flats were complaining they didn't have much room and I thought to myself well they've got more than me because I'm on my own on one small boat which is just under 10 meters long so let's just see how much room I've got. Let's take you down into the cabin here. First things first, here is the galley, everything you need, but no dishwasher, just a washing up bowl, no hot water, you have to boil it, and uh, that is the chopping board, just on the top of the engine casing, and uh, the sideboard, well actually that's the seat for the navigation station, which of course is not used at the moment because we're not going anywhere until the weather warms up. Over here we have the saloon, and this is my bed on that side. And uh, while we're at it, let's just take a look at the thermometer. It's, uh, oh, it's about 11, 12 degrees. And uh, I don't put on the stove until it gets below five in the daytime. Otherwise it goes on in the evening at dark. Uh, if it's below about 10, about 12 maybe, I should probably put it on tonight. It's cheerful. Uh, this is where I sit. I have my little table, laptop. Uh, there is a stove with the charcoal all ready for tonight. Over here in a little bracket we have the clarinet. Although the ligature jumped off the other night, I cannot find it anywhere, so I can't play it until I get another one. And uh, up here we have what I suppose we can call the shed. All the clobber goes here. There's a dinghy in here, there's a bicycle in here, would you believe? And uh, here we have the loo. Everything you need in there. And the amount of space I've got is, I suppose, about two paces by about a half a pace. Uh, so there's not a lot of room for exercise. I do uh, yoga every morning for half an hour, but I have to do it <laughs> on the bed. So it's, it's fairly limited, but I think it probably does me some good. But, but look where I am. This is Hamford Water, near Walton on Nays in Essex. And there is absolutely nothing here, except for me, and the Brent geese, and the seals. Now I'm filming this at high tide, I would have liked to have done it at low tide because it's more interesting because you can see all the birds on the mud flats. But it was pouring with rain this morning. Normally I would expect to be able to show you at least a couple of seals. The most I've ever seen on the surface at one time was 13. They come very close to the boat and they inspect me and I inspect them. Uh, up here we have the wind charger that makes electricity, there's a solar panel there, but of course not much sun at this time of year. But there you are. Oh, there is a seal. Now, I don't know if I can make this any bigger. If I can see it. There he is, there is the seal. There he goes. Minding his own business. One this morning sort of made the most enormous splash as he dived, almost like a dolphin. Oh, look at the speed he's going. He's looking at us. Oh. <laughs> and I missed that and he just made a little grunting noise and dived. But there you are. That's my lockdown. You can keep your small flats, 